Good evening all. I'll continue with the uh, Who's the Best tournament in 1v1s with the Benchmark Empire Swordsman. Uh, this round I play as the Empire Swordsman though, taking fire from the Empire Archers. My, my thinking here is that I'll not engage in melee and see how competent the various different ranged units are. Uh, you see there's a timer on screen which will tick through from literally when I click start battle until my unit of Empire Swordsman um, route and, and begin to leave the battlefield. Um, really nice animations here, you see the, the Empire Swordsmen stand there, hold their shields up to, to try and prevent as much as they can. You don't often get these type of views as, as you're managing a much bigger battle. Um, down to 97 units. I'm quite impressed with these Empire Archers, they're, they're progressing really well. One minute through, um, okay, 90 models out of the 120, but about 50% health. Almost ready to route. One minute, seven seconds. Wow, really, really good. Quick overview of the damage done. Nothing from the Swordsman. 39 kills from the Archers. Equates to 4.5k of damage, 220 value. Cool. Okay, same battle again. Empire Swords versus Empire Archers, but this time I'll go and engage in melee. Um, we sort of know what will happen. Obviously, the Empire Swords will win uh, quite quite outright and, and easily. But I, I sort of foresee that as we progress more through the different, not necessarily Empire units, but when we get to things such as Dwarves and Elves, um, that they'll likely be able to hold their own in melee combat as well. So uh, we've had the pure ranged piece, uh, Empire Archers performed really well, 1 minute 7 to route a unit of swordsmen. Um, and now the equivalent where the, the Empire Swordsmen are able to engage with the, the ranged unit to, I don't know, do what they do I guess, melee. The, the stats of the Empire Archers aren't great, but then in the same instance the stats of the Empire Swordsmen aren't great either. There we go. And we've won. Okay, on to a quick summary. 42 kills for Swordsman versus 2 on the Archers. 4.1k damage from the Swordsman. Just over 1k damage for the Archers. On to the next one.